So now let's do some proper factorization. Because I'm going to say that Slay the Spire is itself just Dominion plus Rogue. So Dominion plus Rogue is Slay the Spire, and fundamentally that is a good component of Cobalt Core. So Dominion, anyone played Dominion? All right, a few people. It was the first deck builder. Uh, deck builder is basically a genre now. That is a game where you draw a head of cards, you basically play the whole hand every turn, and you are buying cards to add to your deck. You change your deck over the course of the game to make it better, to then keep playing the same deck to make itself better until you win. Rogue. Anyone play rogue? Anyone play a roguelike? So everybody knows what the word roguelike is, but you've never played rogue. <laughs> Wait till we get into Metroidvania. So rogue was a procedurally generated dungeon crawl. You go into a dungeon, and you've just got to make your way as far as you can. The, the world around you is procedurally or randomly generated, and you have permanent death. If you die, that's it. There's no save games in Rogue. It's just see how far you got. You can't save scum. Uh, some implementations of Rogue will delete the files and make it very hard for you to cheat. So Slay the Spire is just Dominion plus Rogue. But what about FTL? FTL is this cluster of stuff we're going to interrogate in a second plus Rogue, because both of them fundamentally have this concept of there is a procedurally generated world and permanent death, and you want to see how far you get, and it's different every time. So therefore, now remember, you did this in school. We can extract Rogue. <laughs> Cobalt Core is Rogue times Dominion plus that pile of stuff I want to get to in a minute. So this is really important because this is how we extract genres. I used the word roguelike a little while ago because Cobalt Core is a roguelike deck builder where you pretend to be a space captain. 